Good day, everybody. A quick video today about backup. Please, this is a very important topic. Entropy system, by default, once you install it, come preset. It's already set up to make backup. You will have that like this every Sunday at 4 a.m. Right? Now, I'm going to log in, in my Entropy system. To manage your backup, you need to go options, backup scheduler, then you have the backup tool. You have different backup possible, data backup, archive, time and attendance or in and out, and video event. Alright, All right, so let's take a quick look. The main backup will be the data. The data backup is what um, will be having all your configuration. Site, controller, connection, user card, access control, <laughs> access uh, level, and also your license registration. Everything will be on that data backup. Right? So, if something happened, the system crash, hard drive fail, with that, you will be able to have your system back up and running in no time. Then you have the archive. The archive is what uh, has all your event, everything uh, will be in the archive. Which means, if you only have the data back up, once you restore the system, the system will be back up and running. But you will not be able to know who went uh, yesterday, last week, last year because of uh, if you don't have the archive. All right, so those two, we can say those two are very, very important. The data and the archive. After that, you have uh, in and out. The in and out and the video event, those are depend if you have your system set up for in and out. If you have video integration. If you do, please also program your system to back up those information. Now, how to set that up? You, as I said before, you go to option, backup scheduler, right? You have the choice either default folder or specific folder, right? And in specific folder, you can define a different drive for your backup. Okay, we've been saying this so many times that uh, Integrator has the system doing backup every week, but they forget to make copy of those backup and move those copy elsewhere because you can have your system making backup every Sunday for the past five years. And if the system crash, your hard drive fail, you end up with no backup. Please remember. Remember to make a copy of your backup time to time. All right, then you have backup type that can be separate file or that can be self extracting compressed file. Those are the both you can use either one. One is separate file, which means you have a folder with all the file, the other one is already a compressed file, so you have just one file with everything in it. Uh, backup frequency, please, easy to understand. It can be weekly, monthly, or daily. That depends on your system. Right? Uh, remember, we are in data backup. So if it's a system where you have change, making change every day, adding user, card, yeah, that could be good to have a daily backup. Right? Now, I mean, I'm talking about the data backup. The archive, same principle. All right. So if you want to make a backup now, let's say right now you want to make a backup, you click on now and you click OK. Then you will see the color change for a moment. And once the backup is done, you will get back to green or you will be able to see that in here in your event. So while we're waiting for the backup to be completed, backup can be made 
You can initiate your backup from any workstation or using the server itself as application. But backup restoration, it's only possible in the server running as application. Okay. All right. So I hope this quick video will be good use. Please remember, remember with a backup, you're safe. Because things happen. Computer crashed, hard drive fail, a lot of other things can happen. If you have a backup, all you will have to do is install the system again in a new PC or in the computer after you repair it. Restore the backup, you're good to go. If you don't have a backup and you have a situation like fail system, fail drive, you will have to install everything and program everything over again and without uh, let's not forget that you will have to go to each ip connection we set them program them over we can avoid all those all those can be avoided please all right thank you thank you thank you and as usual option backup scheduler if you need more information, click on the help button. You have all the information you need. Thank you once again.